Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Welcome to the Libraries workshop. I am Carissa Powell. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a student success librarian for information literacy. So I work with a lot of the composition classes like English 1, 102, et cetera. Hello, everyone. My name is Latiffany Davis. I am the student success librarian for experiential learning, and my student population includes first year students as well as transfer students, with my classes being first year studies 101 and transitions 201. And today we're going to be covering our in person services as well as online services. And Chris is going to show you how to get more help at the library. And at the end, we'll give you an opportunity to ask us some questions. We are on um, slido.com. You can also scan the QR code at the top of the page and just sharing what you're wanting to know about the library. All right, so it looks like we have one person who's wanting to know about different libraries on campus, and we can definitely be going over that. Someone's interested in knowing about the free resources at the library, so we'll be talking about that too. How to check out books. These are all really great questions. All right, thank you everyone for submitting a question. Latifi and I are very excited to answer some of these and any others that might pop up during the session. So to get us started, I'm gonna be covering our in-person services. Um, just gonna start with letting you know that currently we are following the campuses policies on mass mandates and there is a link on this slide to give you the most recent information as well as thank you to our tech support Michaela for putting it in the chat. Let's talk about the libraries on campus. A few of you have experienced, um, have expressed the interest in that. We have three libraries across campus and Hodges is considered the main library because it is bigger, it offers more services as well as um, it has the most hours of operation. And fun fact, the three of us, me, Carissa and Michaela, we all are housed in Hodges. So a lot of our examples will be coming from Hodges today. With that being said, Hodges has six floors. And we have the one stop, which, you know, at this point in the semester, you may be familiar with. And also another drawing like entertaining fact is that Starbucks is there, which you've probably also seen. Secondly, we have our Pendergrass Library located on our Ag Campus. And that campus is focus mostly for the agricultural environmental students. However, if you want to, you can go over there and use that library. Um, as a student, you have access to that. And occasionally you may have a class over there. They also have um, some of the same things like our poster printing is over there and they have um, like periodicals and things as well. Last, definitely not least, we have our music library, which is in the Haslam Music Center. It's on the ground floor. And that is for students focused on music and music education. We have three libraries and a variety of services across all three. I do wanna encourage you while you do have services like the opportunity to use all three, you may wanna check the hours because they vary from library to library. This is my favorite part. We're gonna talk about spaces. Once again, Hodges is the biggest. We have the most um, square footage as well as the most study rooms. 
Um, we have a variety of um, noise levels in the library. And so the way I remember it is all floors that begin with F, they are for when you're seeking silence, um, favoring silence on F floor. So first, fourth, and fifth. And you can talk on the second, top, and the third, if that makes sense. Um, we offer study rooms and you have to make a reservation for those. And printing, while it is not free, it is not as expensive as you would think. We have um, printing available, it is three cents per page and double-sided, it'll be three cents for the first side as well as, and then for one cent for the second side. Um, we have machines in the library where you can add money to your ball card and use that to print as well. I mentioned some of the resources we have on campus. In addition to the librarians here to help you, we have the Writing Center also located in the library. It is on the second floor, like on the same floor with Starbucks so you can get your coffee and go. Um, we really love the Writing Center. And while they are not librarian operated, you can make an appointment with them and you can make it in person. You can have one online via Zoom, as well as, which is really like impressed me, was like you can actually have your appointment via email. So I encourage you to look at their website, make your appointment, and they can help you throughout your entire writing process from brainstorming to your final revision. Hands-on learning, the studio, once again, also located on the second floor of Hodges. This is where a lot of our tech is for the library. You can check out technology such as laptops and cameras. We have audio rooms as well as video rooms. So if you're making a podcast or shooting a video for class, and there is a poster printer if you need uh, to print on a large scale. They have their own help desk and chat service so that you can ask them questions specifically related to the technology there. Now I'm gonna turn right. it over to Carissa. All right, so I'm gonna share about some of our online services that I highly recommend um, taking advantage of while you're here. Um, one of them is our chat with a librarian. So if you ever have like a quick question, this is my go-to place to start. Um, all three of us do answer these questions and it's just a really easy way to get help. Um, it's available anytime the library is open. So if the library is open all night, someone is available on chat to answer questions. The other thing I recommend is setting up a consultation as you get further into the semester, if you are working on a research paper and are kind of stuck, either picking out a topic, finding articles, um, any of those points where you're just kind of needing someone else to chat with, I really love doing consultations. And basically, we just set up a time on Zoom and search for stuff together. So I really recommend both of these. Everyone who is on chat is just sitting there waiting to answer questions. So you're not bothering anybody by asking a question. Um, I'm gonna show what the chat looks like really quickly. So if you're on our home page, it's just this little chat with us button. And you'll see this across the library website in a couple different places. And then the consultation request form looks like this. So you would fill it out there. And Michaela has put all of these links in chat. Uh, next, I'm going to share how to find some articles and databases. And this is gonna be a super intro level in production because we do have other workshops later on this semester that will do a deep dive into these. Um, but for folks who were asking questions about either checking out a book or just free resources in general, these will really speak to those questions. 
So the first one is OneSearch. Um, this is our go-to place to start research. And I highly recommend coming here first when you're starting your research projects this semester. I'm going to open it up on my screen. So it's smack dab in the middle of the homepage when you get to the library homepage. And you can put in a couple keywords. You can put in a whole title if you know exactly what you're looking for. Like if your professor um, has required a certain title, you can type that entire thing in. These are just a few examples. If for the folks who are asking about checking out a book, I'm going to show that really quickly. You would come to the left hand side of the page where it's format. Um, we have books that are both a physical book and also an electronic book. Both are great. And if you are looking for an in person book, you would scroll through this list. Who knew there were so many books about peanut butter? You would then click on a title. And then from here, the crucial information is right up here where it says that it is available at the library. If it says checked out, it would be grayed out and there would be some other options. But the most important thing is to click on the map it. Uh, we do have multiple libraries, like Liz Tiffany was saying, so you would want to make sure you're going to the Hodges Library, going to the sixth floor, and then kind of down here. So the most, the most important information from here is kind of which shelving row to go to, and then the call number identifies the individual book. If any of this is very overwhelming, which it, it is okay if it is, I get overwhelmed the first time I'm going to a new library. Um, just go straight to the front desk across from Starbucks and ask for some help. Um, definitely don't want anyone wandering around Hodges lost and confused. So that is OneSearch. And the second thing I want to point out is our articles and databases. So if you're on our library's home page, You'll scroll down and it will be under find materials, articles, and databases. From here, we are also going to do a whole workshop just on this aspect. Um, but a great place to start is looking at the most popular databases. These are ones that have kind of been identified to be uh, very interdisciplinary and good for a lot of different subjects. I am personally a huge fan of Academic Search Complete, um, but if you're working on a business class, this would be a great one, et cetera, et cetera. You can also go by subject. So again, um, I'm going to pretend I'm in an English class. And so if you go from there, it shows that we have 63 English databases. These are kind of ones that are go-to places to start. And then every major on campus also has a go-to expert librarian. So if you're in a English class, not first year composition, I'm your English, I'm your librarian for that. But if you're in another English class, Molly is an awesome person to reach out to for support. So that is how to find articles and databases. So if you're in a class and your professor asks you to find um, an article, both OneSearch and this are really good first places to check out. All right, so we have come to the end of our prepared information for you. Um, if you need proof of attendance, um, please fill out the link in chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can fill this out as well. This just lets us know uh, what really stood out to you this session, what you still have questions about. And then I 
you know, highly recommend coming back next week. Me and Michaela will be going into more detail about searching tips and tricks. And so that will be next Thursday at 1 p.m. So we're going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you so much for being here.